Hello everybody, welcome back to the series. Today is day number six out of 70 in this particular Trailblazer League in old school RuneScape. I wanted to welcome you to this episode because this is gonna be an episode unlike any other. Today, we attempt to tread the line. Today's episode is going to be as beginner friendly as possible because I just realized, hey, maybe my friends who don't play RuneScape want to understand what's going on in these videos if they happen to watch them. While at the same time, I'm going to attempt to not be incredibly, incredibly boring. Friends, I am using a fishing pole on a fishing spot to procure fish into my inventory. Fishing is a skill. This is my skills tab. There's lots of numbers on the screen Each and symbols. number and logo refers to a separate skill that you can train fish in game. come in all kinds of varieties. This one's pink, this one's green. I actually drop these types of fish directly onto the ground because they're worth more on the ground than they are in my Marine blue armor and a red necklace and white feathers on my head. Those are different than the feathers in my inventory, which are used to catch fish. Fishing is an activity that happens in real life. I use a barbarian fishing rod. It's much heavier and bigger than a regular fishing rod, and therefore I get to train my strength and agility at the same time. Agility? Why? Uh, don't ask that. The actual long and short of it all is I'm training my fishing skill right now here at the barbarian fishing spot. It's like right on top of a little whirlpool area here on the side of a cliff. Uh, this is one of the best fishing experience rates that you can get in the entire game. I could do something to make it a little bit better, but it's extremely click intensive and uh, involves tick manip manipulation. And the biggest point of what I'm trying to accomplish right now is being AFK so that I can focus on doing other work while still gaining experience in the game. Since last night, I spent a little time collecting rune essence in the mines, training my rune crafting level up a little bit, and that was great using the recall orb. And today I, I really wanted to look at my diary list and just complete as much as I possibly can. And if I encounter a task that I can't do yet, I wanna do whatever quest that I need to or train whatever skill that I need to in order to get that done. That's been my goal for a while and I've never really gotten around to it because you have to pay attention to do that. And I've just been standing here uh, sitting AFK for way too long. So perhaps by the time I record again, we'll be working on some of these diaries. I guess I'll see you then. Right now I'm actually doing, as I said, I'm working on diary tasks. One of them requires getting an earth talisman, uh, even though it looks like I'm just committing a lot of murder against human beings. I'm really just going for, oh my goodness, I just happened to be recording right then. I was going for the earth talisman here, because this is required for one of the tasks. In the meantime, I was picking up any of the green boys that dropped on the ground so that I could train my frog skill. Down here by the moss giants right now, I'm finding myself a little bit sidetracked by nostalgia, perhaps, mostly. I just realized that, like, Vanica's right around the corner, so I could just get myself a Slayer task of Moss Giants and just, like, keep on repeating. The real reason I came down here was to grab a few red spider's eggs so that I could complete the Varrock Medium Diary, but uh, now I'm just kind of hanging out, popping up some levels here, and uh, it's pretty satisfying. Hit level 75 combat, that was worth 50 points. One reason that really brought me toward the, uh, the Moss Giants was the chance at getting a Mossy Key, but then also uh, just all the seeds that they drop. I think that the seeds are doing really well, uh, herb seeds in particular. Haven't gotten like super lucky with them yet, but I am just popping up a lot of levels here. Defense levels, Slayer levels, and uh, it's just fun. So I decided to take a little break and uh, kill these guys for a little bit. All right, everybody, I've gone over to the Taibowani village and I'm doing the village cleanup mini game, which is hardly a mini game. But I was just on the 2007 Scape subreddit and I saw a post, maybe you guys saw it too, talking about all the points that are available here and I realized yeah I there's a there's a good amount of points here and there's heavy AFK time available here as well I mean there are horror stories of people already spending six hours here just like clicking this tree over and over and over again waiting for a gout tuber hoping that I uh don't go that dry. Oh man, this is the first time I've had to run into one of these guys. I'm supposed to run away from every single one of these that isn't green. But while I'm going down here, I think that there's a fire down here that I can cook my spider on a, on a stick on. Uh, right here? There we go, that's a medium task. 
complete. Nice. But instead of fishing, instead of woodcutting, I decided to come down here because there's some, some pretty heavy AFK tasks to do here. I'm really looking for that cow tuber. I know it's going to take a while. I'm hoping, just hoping, that I can get it before I reach 100% Taibo favor. I didn't do it in the main game in that amount of time, but we're going to see if I can get some trailblazer luck here. What an adventure I have to tell you. You'll notice I'm wearing different clothes all of a sudden. Uh, the gout tuber took a long time to get, but fortunately I had some friends to play Among Us with while I was just like sitting there AFK in the gout tuber. Eventually it popped up. I think it literally took uh, six hours of my day to get the gout tuber, so no one can complain to me about going dry on the gout tuber. I guess tell me if it took you longer in the comments, but I'm not necessarily going to believe you. So with the gout tuber, uh, that gave us access to several hundred points and a little bit more progress in the Karumja Diary. Uh, I don't remember if there was any hard task in there, but there were certainly some medium tasks that we got to taken care of. And I think that we can continue with some uh, some diary progress here. So I'm thinking about looking at Artie and uh, maybe maybe we'll head to that right now. Well, I checked out the requirements for the Artie Medium Diary and one of them is 59 smithing if you don't want to go get the Myth Grapple drop from one of the, like the really strong NPCs that drop them. And I don't really feel like doing that. I also don't really feel like training smithing is that worthwhile for me when I don't have Asgarnia unlocked yet. Maybe I'll have to do that eventually when I have, I still have like 130 tasks or something left to unlock Asgarnia, but I know smithing is going to get significantly easier as soon as that's done. So I guess we'll just go on with some different diaries first. Maybe I'll even use an experience lamp on smithing. Uh, maybe that's foolish. I can't tell at this point, but I'm just gathering the things in my inventory to take care of these Karumja medium tasks. One of them is to grow a fruit tree, a grok. I need to go into the Brimhaven uh, dungeon again, so I guess I'll grab my coins. And um, I'll, I'll show you I'll show you when I beat each of these. All right, totally my first time in this area in Trailblazer. Apparently, everyone thinks that I've killed Elvarg already, but uh, I think Crandor is somewhere along this path. Didn't actually confirm on the map, just like going off of memory here. There must be, okay, is this gonna be Crandor right here? Uh, yes, okay, there's the medium task, okay. So that's all we had to do for that one. And I think I'll teleport away from here. While I'm in the area, I had my bar crawl card on me so I can go grab the specialized drink right here because we're eventually gonna be able to do, uh, we're gonna have to do the barbarian agility course here. That's a, that's a diary for some region, I don't even remember but I just know I have to do it, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> to catch a grok, I've got to use a fairy ring, and I've got a new favorite method of using a fairy ring. I teleport to the Myths Guild, hop up here, and there is a portal right to the Legends Guild. And the Legends Guild really is really sick because there's a fairy ring right next to it. So I just gotta run out the gate right here, and uh, there we are, fairy ring. And I don't actually know what the letters are, but let me just try AKS. Nope, that's not the one. I'll have to think about it here. All right, Horned Grok right here, and you jump over the spiked pit. He follows. I hope I have the hunter level for this. Oh, oh, he's agile. All right, let's get this one done. All right. There's only one more that I can really do right now because the other one is growing an entire fruit tree, and fruit trees are the ones that uh, famously take a lot longer to grow than regular trees. So I probably won't even be able to get that one done until tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's go find these uh, lava steps. Hopefully I have the agility level for it. And is it this one? Okay, it's just right here. And you, you don't even have to go into like a dangerous spot. It's just moss giants on the other side. This will be a medium task just like that. This is a lot more dangerous than I'm making it seem. Like, that's literally lava. I would never do that in real life. Okay, Karumja Medium is, for all intents and purposes, completed. So, we'll grab the experience lamp tomorrow. But for now, it's time to head into uh, another diary, another medium diary. I guess we'll take a look at... What do I feel like? Um, maybe the Lumbridge. Let's check out the Lumbridge for now. All right, we're working on the Lumbridge easy tasks right now. I just uh, made some bread on the range. I asked Hans my age. It didn't work the first time I did it. I used the right click age option. It didn't complete the easy task. So I went through the full dialogue options with him. I talked with him and asked him the age and then it updated the diary. So uh, maybe that's something that you need to keep an eye on. 
heading to the swamp uh, cave right now so that I can kill a cave bug. While I'm down here, I'm actually going to try to kill a couple extra. Uh, because my first kill was a radar weed. No, it's because I know that they have a terrific drop table, actually. And that they're going to drop a, a couple of good herblor secondaries that I might not have and I, I think might be useful. Like, like if I get unicorn dust, I think I can get unicorn dust down here. But uh, other than that, yeah, I can just get, like, some good herbs right away, just like I already did. I'm on my way to Drainer to do my last task for the Lumbridge Easy Diary. On my way, I'm gonna do another easy task, chop and burn oak logs. All right, there's the easy task. Now we're gonna go kill a zombie. And here it is, Lumbridge Easy done. Now I was looking at Lumbridge medium, and once again, I see another grapple task. So it's starting to become really, really, really prevalent. Like, I'm going to get two entire diaries out of this uh, for for getting level 59 smithing. So I might need to find a way to do this. I, I might have to do significantly harder things if I don't just go for this right now instead of waiting for it. So so I'm still torn. Man, level 59 is 250,000 experience. That's a lot of experience to get. Just got done grabbing my drink from the Blue Moon Inn. I'm going to run north, chop the U log run up to the top of the church for the hard Varrock task, even though I'm not going to be able to finish the hard diary in in full, but it's going to be on the way to the, uh, the whatever the north, is that like the jolly boar up there? I don't know. I'm going to get another bar crawl line signed off here, though. Here it is, a hard task. Nice. We're going to knock out this bar crawl card once and for all. I didn't even realize like how not annoying it is to do at all in the slightest because we have access to all these extra teleports. Makes it really easy. That's Brimhaven done. Gnome's Stronghold done right here real quick. And Artie, this is going to be the last one. All done. I can't quite teleport to the uh, Barbarian Assault Outpost uh, quite yet because I just used the minigame teleport to get to Yan Isle. Uh, so we'll do that in a second, but my card is all filled out. All right, so now I'm just going to grab whatever tasks I see. Kill a cockatrice is worth 10 points, and 10 points. Very good. Kill a pyre fiend is another one. Here's another couple of points here. Uh, another easy, yes. There's a few tasks over here on Lunar Isle, so I decided to come on over. Craft 50 astral runes is worth 50 points, and switch to the Lunar Spellbook is worth another 10. I'm going to re-switch again here. 10 points, nice. All right, so I'm I'm actually feeling really confused right now because I just did this in the main game. I noticed that it is 50 points to do a lap on the penguin agility course, and to do the penguin agility course, you need to be a penguin. More, more accurately, you need to be in a penguin suit, so I'm trying to make that right now. I've got a plank, silk, and a clockwork with me, and if you just have a, a level three table, I've got a level four table here, you can click clockwork toy, and then there's supposed to be a penguin option here, but there's only soldier, doll, mouse, and cat. And I know that it's not any of them. So what's going on here? How do I make the clockwork penguin? All right, it struck me. Uh, Cold War is not auto-completed. And why would it be, right? Why would it be? I guess we got to do that quest. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm never excited about quests. I've got to admit something. So I have unnatural selection. I did not have unnatural selection back in Twisted League. And now that I have it, I feel a little stressed out. Like, I never know if I'm making the right decision, if I'm being efficient enough. But I try not to worry about that because, like, I know I'm being super inefficient just, like, in general. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm supposed to be spending, like, any time on Moss Giants here. But I'm going to do it, because it sounds fun, and uh, that's how I want to spend my time. I started glancing through some hard tasks, just thinking that I might want to start focusing on those, because I've been generally looking toward the easy and mediums, and those are starting to look a little annoying, so I figured, why not? Maybe there's some easy hard ones to get here still, and I noticed my perfect, my favorite one so far, chop 75 magic logs. I'm super, super close. Uh, four more logs. And I'll show you when I get those points. Hopefully, maybe I'll miss it. We'll see. Fast fingers, got it. There it is, 100 points. Yes. Hey, you know, I'm in the Myth Guild, and I'm pretty sure I heard that killing a blue dragon was worth, like, a bunch of points. So let's give that a shot here. Oh, man, every monster I fight just melts. It's ridiculous. Okay, dragon dead. 
50 points. That's great. Ooh, Dragon Bones. Is burying Dragon Bones worth something? It's my first Dragon Bones of the league. Yes, another 50 points. All right. So right now, I'm unsure why I was told specifically a blue dragon was worth three points. Um, I'm recalling crafting like 30 blue dragon hides was maybe a task or something. But uh, maybe I'll figure that out. Uh, I'll figure that out in the future sometime. I don't, I don't know right now. Good night, everybody. I I'm getting tired. This was uh, where I took my thumbnail for yesterday's video. You probably well, maybe you'll recognize that. But this is officially the end of day six. Uh, it's 3.30 in the morning. So technically day seven. I'm absolutely enjoying myself in Trailblazer. Love it, wish I had more points, but I just gotta admit, I don't have all the time in the world. I was working on getting a little bit of fire making experience. I don't exactly know what the best way to go about it is. Uh, I decided to chop some maples because willows felt like they were going a little bit fast even though willows might give the best fire making experience if you include uh, the chopping of the logs as well. It's kind of fun going over this hill here. <laughs> oh my gosh. The reason I want fire making experience is to get level 75 fire making so that I can burn one magic log. That'll be a cool 100 points just like that. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Maybe I can dedicate some direct time to the game and uh, get whatever quests I, I need to do out of the way and I think that'll set me up for a lot more success. All right, guys, tell me how your progress is going in the comments. What tier are you at? How many points are you at? What rank are you? By the way, if you wanna know a really good tool to check what rank you are, in my Twitch chat, there's a nice bot that you can type exclamation point cups into my Twitch chat, and it'll give you a link to a nice website that'll tell you uh, what rank every single cup is at, how, what what point value it is, and it gets updated all the time. So that's actually a really cool resource, and I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Seriously. Go, go to bed. Make, make sure that you guys are being healthy, but also having fun. Oh, see, see you later, guys. Go kill it.